After watching this video, you will learn three very interesting video editing tips in Filmora 12. And I will also show you a new feature of Filmora 12.5.5. Okay, so keep watching until the end of the video. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Filmora 12.5.5, how to upgrade and all the new feature of this version. Okay, because when I make a video about Filmora 12.5, there's some people complain that they cannot upgrade to this latest version. And that is why I want to make this video. Okay, so this is just a simple process to upgrade to this latest version if you have a license of Filmora. All right, so let's go to the, my computer screen. By the way, I'm okay with my, my bone now. After a serious accident, my bone was broken and now it is okay the recovery is okay and I don't have to do the surgery and now my hand is oh. <laughs> it's hot okay so I can move my hand by the way I have to be careful with my my bone because there's a, a tighten belt right here so I have to be careful with my shoulder by the way it's okay we can make video and if you have any question about Filmora about other YouTube tips and tricks let me know in the comment section okay so now let's go to my computer screen second time okay uh, all right so this is my Filmora 12.5.5 and this is the latest version if you want to double check you want to go here and click here at the about page and you see here it is Filmora 12.5.5 by the way you want to double check on their website if you are on Mac OS or Windows platform for example if you want to check the latest update you want to click help and then release notes okay and you will see some, some more information from their website. Okay, so this is the latest version on Windows. It is Filmora 12.5 and they don't say about 12.5.4 or 0.5 or stuff like that. But on Mac OS, it is still Filmora 12.3. Okay, so this is Filmora 12.3. And being mentioned, if you want to see any release notes or stuff like that, you can go directly to Wondershare Filmora. All right, so that is the first point. And the other point, I will go to the main website here to download the latest version and then I will reinstall it and double check the version. And after that, I will upgrade if I have an option in my software. Okay, so let's download the software first. Okay, and it is done very fast. Okay, because it is just an installation file. And let's just open the folder here on my computer. And then I can just double click to install it by the way i have to close filmora first before the installation i'm going to click here yeah yes okay so i'm going to close here i want to save my project okay and it will open the startup window by the way i can just close the startup window and now I can click the install button, okay? Because now I have Filmora 12.5.5. By the way, if I reinstall the software, it will cover the, the version on my computer. It doesn't matter. If it is Filmora 11 or Filmora 12.2 or 0.3, then it will be that version on my computer after the installation. Okay, so I'm going to click install. And okay, we already have a software and let's click okay. Because I can upgrade to the latest version by checking updates right inside the software easily. Okay, by the way, if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. I make it almost every day here on my YouTube channel. And also how to edit better video, how to create better video, including YouTube short and YouTube long form video. All right. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, oh. I've just turned on my air conditioner and it is still running. It's just starting. Whew. So hot. Maybe I can. Okay, maybe I can fast forward the installation process and add a meme 10,000 years later. Two hours later. All right, so now the installation is finished and we can start the program now. Okay, just start now. And do not mention about this promotion page. Okay, just close it. Open. Environment testing. Environment testing. What the hell is environment testing? Okay, this is testing my computer. Okay, okay, speed up, please. 
Okay, so as you can see on the screen, the program is starting and it says that Filmora 12.4.7. Okay, and this is the startup of the program. And first thing first, we want to create a new project to check the version. Okay. Okay, here's the new project button. And now we need to go to help again. And then we want to click here about. All right, so it's come back to Filmora 12.4.7. So this is a big problem from Wondershare. If Wondershare team watch this video, please just improve this problem because whenever you have a new new version, it is inside the software, but we need to have it on your website also because new people can go directly to your website and download the software and they should have a, the latest version. Okay, so it is just a kind of synchronization problem. Okay, and now it is 12.4.7 and we have to check for update right inside the software. Just go to help and then we want to click check for update right here. After that, we will see a new feature in the, the software. Okay, so this is the new feature in Femora 12.5.5 and there are three new features here. By the way, I think only one is important and interesting. So that is the new audio transition. Now you can add cross fade transition between adjacent audio clips on the same track, audio transition can dramatically enhance your project soundtrack by eliminating unwanted pops and abrupt edits. So this is the most interesting part. And there are two other features here, a set backup and synth, but it will re be related to Wondershare Cloud, which is a paid service from Wondershare. And I don't think it is interesting. And the other one is Filmora Achievement Program, something that they will reward your creativity or stuff like that. But I don't care about that, okay? By the way, we want to install this new version from 12.4.7 to 12.5.5. And let's click install and show you the audio transition effect, okay? Okay, finally, we've finished the installation of Filmora 12.5.5 on my computer. And this is Filmora 12.5.5. And let's double check, go to have and about. So this is the latest version of the software, okay? And let's talk about the first new feature, which is the audio transition, okay? For example, now we have the transition. So this is your transition tab. Just go to here and then we see this folder, audio transition. So we have four different transitions here. The first one, constant gain, and second one, constant power, and fade, and fade. So you want to see or hear the difference. You want to... Okay, so you see the transition between two separate audio. And you can see the pattern here, for example. It is constant, constant gain, and you see the pattern. It will look like this. So the first section will be lower down, and the second section will be increasing, okay? And the other one is constant power and exponential fade uh, with the fade transition, okay? By the way, let me show you how it works. Uh, go back to my media. And for example, I have a music file. Let's put my headset on. Okay. And this is a normal, normal music. Okay, so I'm going to stretch out the timeline and delete this part first. And this is the music file. So now if I split this one, and then I can add audio transition. Go back to the transition and then audio transition. So the first one is a constant gain. If you want to just try and drop it down here and then you can hear the audio. But for me, I don't think there's much different. Okay, uh, let's listen to it. There's nothing different here. And the other one is constant power. So let's drag and drop it down here. So it has the same power. And the other one is fade, something that we can hear. Exponential fade. Okay, just drag and drop it down here. And now it will low down the volume of the first section and then increase the second section. Okay, something like this. That's better, right? And we can see this pattern also. The same, okay. 
Okay, so that is for the music file only. But if you have a video with the audio inside, you can also apply the transition for the video and the audio transition also. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. Yeah, let's go back to my media. And for example, I have a video here, a, a long video. So maybe I can split it right here. And now if I want to apply the transition for the video, I can go to transition and then select transition. So go back to my video transition. And uh, for example, this is a turn transition. And uh, we can see here. So you see something different when the first clip transition to the second clip, right? Without audio transition. But now we can go back to transition and apply audio transition. So we want to have the constant gain. So just run and drop it right here. By the way, now we have video transition and audio transition at the same position. And we can see it right here. So it is very small right here. And unfortunately, we cannot control the transition or the type of the audio transition. When we double click at the transition here, it is just for the video. Okay, uh, but let's click OK. And here's the difference. So we have the same or the same gain if we use this one constant gain and what if we use this fade one yeah, just replace here so this is a fade transition for the audio so it will load, load down the volume of the first clip and increase the volume of the second clip slowly okay something like this i think it's nice right Okay, so that is the most interesting new feature in Filmora 12.5.5 and now I'm going to show you some Filmora tips and tricks for beginner. Maybe you want to know. Alright, so let's delete everything on the timeline first. Okay, so the first tip I want to show you is about the silent detection option in Filmora 12. You know that with Filmora 12, we can find the silent in our video and then we can delete it or cut it automatically. So you don't have to do it manually. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Uh, let's go back to my media. And for example, I have a video here. This is a test video. And now if I want to use the silent detection, all I need to do is to right click here and then select this option, silent detection. Okay, so it, we have a new windows and we want to click here to start the silent detection. Okay, and now the software will find the silence in my video. Analyze it and mark it on the timeline. Something will look like this. And if you want to use this and import it to our timeline, all you need to do is to click here, export to timeline. Okay. And now we have a shorter clip without silent. Something like this. Okay. It's nice, right? And it is okay for a short clip. But if your video is a long one, then you should do it in another way. Okay, for example, you want to delete everything. And let's drag and drop it onto the timeline first. And then you want to split the video at the section that you want to use the silent detection. Okay, for example, I want to do the silent detection for this part only. Okay, let's split it first and then all I need to do is to right click here and select this option smart edit tools and then you can see here silent detection so just click here and it will open a new window and only cover this section that's interesting right for example we can click start to find the silent in my video okay and then if we are happy with the silent detection option we can click here finish and replace okay and now it will have some empty gap here and we can delete this part so this is a video without silent for this section only okay okay that's nice right so that is the first tip in Filmora trial and the second tips is about the global media where is the folder where you can reuse it for your next project for example, let's delete everything here. 
Okay, so for example, this is my global media. So this is a folder where I can reuse for my next project. I can just click here. For example, I have intro, meme, and sound effect, and music, and subscribe button, and, and short music, or stuff like that. Okay, so if I want to reuse any media, I can put it in this global media. So normally you have to import your media to the global media right here. For example, I can just click here, import media, and then I can select a video or an intro or subscribe button on my computer and put it into the global media. Okay, by the way, I'm going to click cancel. But what if you have the media inside the project media? You want to put it into the global media also. Okay, just go back to your project media. For example, I want to put this image to my global media. Now, all you need to do is to right click here at the image or the video. And then you want to select this option, copy to global media. And you want to select the folder that you want to put the image into. Okay, for example, I can select the intro 2022. And now if I go back to my global media, yeah, here and intro, and I have the image here. I can review this image in my next project. Okay, so that is tip number two in Fimora Trial. And the next tip is to generate an uh, image from text. And I think it is an interesting AI option in Fimora Trial, and you should use it also. By the way, when using this option, it is very difficult for you to write a prompt or a correct prompt to generate an image in Fimora. So this is how I do and Maybe you can do the same. Okay, so this is the AI image option. If I want to generate an image, a background music or anything, I want to just click here to open the AI image. Okay, okay, and now you have to write a description of the image that you want to create here. Maybe you can write it yourself. But for me, I don't, I don't know because it is very difficult for me to write a request for the AI to generate an image. So normally I would use ChatGPT to write a, a prompt for me. Okay, for example, this is my ChatGPT, I would say. Give me a prompt. Give me a prompt to generate a fancy, uh, okay, office background. Something like that. And then I'm going to press enter to get the prompt from ChatGPT, okay? Okay, so this is the answer from ChatGPT. Create an opulent office space fit for visionary design, seamless merge with timeless elegance. Okay, and now all we need to do is to copy this prompt. Okay, and then we can go back to Filmora and put it right here. And the next thing, you want to select a model here, freestyle or futuristic. Maybe I can select this model, futuristic. And hopefully in the future, Filmora will give us some more information about this model or some real life examples, stuff like that, so we can know which model to use. Okay, but now we can click here, start creating <coughs> and wait a few minutes. Okay, so here's the image that is generated with Filmora and with this model. And I think it's nice and we can download it first. Okay, so this is how I use the AI image option in Filmora trial. By the way, we have another AI to generate image from text with Leonardo AI. I also use it. You can try it also. For example, we can copy this prompt. Okay, and then go to our AI Leonardo and we can generate. Paste the prompt here and generate. Maybe we have different image because different AI will give you different results. Okay. So let's wait a second. Uh, okay, so this is also the office, but it also look like the living room. So it is the same, similar to what Fimora create. Okay, so this is another tips in Fimora trial. I hope it is helpful for you. By the way, it's all for today's video. I hope it is helpful for you also. If you have any more question about Filmora, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.